Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life and I'm here with day 16 and then if I have enough time we're going to do day 17 um, for 30 Days of Sketches Series 10 because I have found out where all my miss missing footage has gone and it happens to be um, a little three and a half year old culprit who has learned how to delete things in my app. Um, how he's even found my app, I don't know. They're just magical like that, aren't they? So I'm so, so, so sorry that um, A, there wasn't a video yesterday and then I have to combine two together, but it's all good. I think we'll get through it. I was able to share them on Instagram and the Facebook group already. So thankful for that. Um, so day 16, sketches created by the lovely Rebecca Lockhart. And I love her sketch. It's so pretty. We have all types of gorgeousness going on. Mixed media, a circular element, like a wreath element with florals, and a really fun diagonal of uh, photos available to go ahead and use as well. So many different ways that this could be interpreted. And there was some absolutely gorgeous takes on this. And I'm excited to share those with you as well. We're going to start with Rebecca's herself. She definitely showed you how to take the sketch and make it work for you. Rebecca is known for her mixed media and ability to add a ton to a layout without it being too much, if that makes sense. And this is the perfect example of that. So she's used what I'm assuming is a cut by something with the circular elements, but she's put it in her diagonal. And then she set her photos, um, just like you can see in the sketch, added a bunch of florals and some um, butterflies as well. It's a very beautiful layout focused in on her gorgeous uh, sketch there. So I love it. Um, let's see here. Next up we have Kathy Lynn. And hers is really fun because she took the circular element of it and the, the photo idea of kind of having two photos off centered, but then she didn't really, I mean, you can see her, her background has some mixed media on it. I'm not sure if that's mixed media she's done or if it's a pre-mixed media um, background, but she has a lovely little square as well. Then the cut file that's circular. Um, so she's taken bits and pieces of the sketch, but not the full sketch made it work for her and I really love how it turned out. It is Valentine's theme, so it is pink and really, really fun. I just think the way she was able to um, make the sketch work for her was a really great example and I was excited to be able to share that with you. And then next up we have Sarah and Sarah also used the cut file. This is gonna be a theme you're gonna see in the, the um, layouts for today. And she didn't do the idea of the mixed media full on as diagonal as the sketch calls for it, but she did do mixed media. She stacked her photos like you can see in the sketch. She even has the floral element, but instead of a wreath circular, she has used a hexagon, which I thought was really fun. That was a great way to use something up. Maybe she's had this cut file in her stash or she cut it specifically for this layout. I'm not sure, but I thought it was a really great interpretation and a way for you to go ahead and use it. Then we have Michelle and Michelle has just full on taken this sketch and pretty much copied it. I love it. She has a larger photo in place of the two smaller photos, but she has the idea of how they're stacked. She has the diagonal mixed media. She has the circular element with the florals, but she has used what I believe is twine for her circular element. And I just think that is such a neat idea. Like I would never have thought to do that. And it really brings in a fun texture. This is, um, a food layout so that's absolutely perfect that type of idea and then she's done some fun little rips on the corners as well to really personalize it and make it hers which I just thought was the perfect finishing touch then we have Debbie and Debbie's is really fun because it's a completely different vibe there is a bit of mixed media it's very very subtle again I have no idea if it's pre-mixed media digital, I don't know, but I can see a bit of mixed media back there. However, it has a very crisp, clean feel to it because it's a white background, whereas the rest of them haven't so much been within added on mixed media. She has her photos in the, the way that you can see it. You can see the circular element she's added from the sketch, 
but she's included things like um, leaves and greenery and butterflies around it, which I just thought was a fun added, added way to do this. I just really love how um, crisp and clean this layout feels to me, even though it's, it's not necessarily that, but it's the feeling I get from it. And it was just so uniquely different from the rest of the layouts that were given for today's examples that I wanted to highlight that because it's what drew me into it, which I thought was lots and lots of fun. And then finally for this one and Rebecca's sketch, we have Tracy and this is awesome. So Tracy has kind of done what Rebecca did with hers, where she didn't actually do the large circular element. Instead, she has a cut file with smaller circle circles that she's put on the diagonal, like you can see in the sketch, but she has one solid straight on photo. It's not angled funny. There's no other, um, nothing else with it to give that kind of idea. So she just took a part of the sketch that worked for her. And then this adorable photo. I love this photo. Um, and added in a little bit of sequence for some bling, the title, a lovely border around it. It's simplistic with texture, which sometimes I think when we say simplistic, um, we don't think of all the other things that are there that actually make it not simplistic, if that makes any sense. So that is what I'm loving about all of those. Now, I'm going to get this switch to day 17 while we're here. Let's go ahead and do these together um, so we can get this one video up and I can highlight all the gorgeousness that I have missed. And again, my apologies. Please give me a second while I scroll. Ah. Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So for day 17, which is today, Monday, <laughs> the 17th, we have a really fantastic sketch from um, Carrie Simmons. I love this sketch, you guys. I think this is super versatile. I see so many different ways in you guys being able to use it. She has made it available so your eye could look at it as an eight and a half by 11 or a 12 by 12, which um, when she sends it to me, she's like, I didn't actually mean to do that, but I liked it because I think it helps you look at the sketch a little bit differently. So I left it like that. Um, but there's lots of different ways that you can go ahead and interpret this. And I cannot wait to share with you these takes as well. So we're going to start off with Carrie. As always, we like to start with the sketch creator. She has made hers into what I believe is an eight and a half by 11 layout. And she's just followed her sketch very, very closely with the ex exception of she didn't do the upper fold. Um, but she has lots of different layers. Look at all these pattern papers going on. It is so much fun. This does look to be like a Mary Poppins layout um, from what I can see in the background there, which I think is fantastic. And I just really love this and how it turned out. She rocked it. I love being able to share different sized layouts with you guys versus what we think of in the 12 by 12 format, which is how most of us scrapbook but it's good to see variation because we do not all scrapbook the same. Next up we have, if my computer decides that it likes me, we have Susan and I love Susan's. It's Pac-Man theme first of all, so that's a, a massive win, but she has used the elements in the Pac-Man for places where the, um, like the fold over and the sketch would be. That's where she used um, that and I just I love it. It's so much fun. Definitely has the colors, the title, everything. You know right away what this layout is about and though you can absolutely see the sketch, I'm so drawn to the rest of it that all in all this layout just makes me smile and I think it's such a fantastic um, job with the layout. Then we have Darla and Darla actually created a six by eight for her um, December daily or generally or Christmas or whatever you want to call it. But she placed it on a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper so we could have it sized correctly for Instagram because she's so sweet like that for me. <laughs> and I love this. She's absolutely followed the sketch um, and made it work in a six by eight format, which could be hard because you're working with a smaller um, section. You're going to have a bit of your photo is going to be larger, more impactful, right? Because it's a smaller platform to work on. But I can see the sketch. I absolutely can see the sketch. I see the inspiration from it. And she has also used all these lovely different pattern papers on top of each other, which just makes me happy because I love seeing different pattern papers on top of each other. 
and the pattern mixing that can be done that sometimes I think we might forget about doing. Uh, so it's just a good example. And then we have Cindy who pretty much followed the sketch spot for spot. It's, it's so awesome. I love, again, all the pattern mixing. Look at all these gorgeous pattern papers. She's done the fold over. She's done a fun little stitching line around the outside. I'm not sure if it's like a trace line or actual stitching line, but it, I love that little detail um, with the tag and the banners and the super cute photo. It's just really well done and it makes me smile, which is what you want from a layout. We have Brianna who has gone themed and this is, I love to showcase these themes. Um, she's got these cute, her two little adorable pups here and she has a themed collection she's working with. And this just shows you that this sketch is good for a theme collection if you have one. The layering works really well. The colors work well. Obviously, when you have a very theme collection, it's supposed to work together. But I think sometimes just seeing it put together helps you um, realize that what you're trying to work with is going to actually work. So I would give this sketch a thumbs up for super themed um, collections to do with your photos. And then lastly, we have Colleen who went winter with it and is this not just absolutely adorable? She's flipped it so she's like mirror imaged it, which I love. I love when there's variations to a sketch here. The snowflakes are a nice visual triangle going on there. She's got two photos stacked, which I thought was fun. That's a bit different. Um, and again, the pattern paper on top of pattern paper, the different layers, the different textures, all of this greatness happening together to work with such a really fun sketch that I think you're all gonna really enjoy. And you guys, that's going to do it. I'm going to just put my laptop down. That's going to do it for day 16 and day 17. So tons of inspiration today because you got the two sketches in. I hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to see what everyone else is doing. Uh, don't forget, links will be down below. Hashtag 30DSCBL10. Um, and if you wanted a little bit more of a closer look at them or anything like that, they're available on Facebook and they're on my Instagram because that was my goal was just to highlight all of these amazing layouts that everyone has been creating. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. I do hope to be back tomorrow, um, on time even, that would be great. Um, and thank you for bearing with me through these fun toddler technology <laughs> issues that I have come across. I will see you guys all again soon. Bye everyone.